And now to New York voters making history as Kathy Hochul becomes the first woman to be elected governor of the state. But Democrats didn't hold firm in all races, while Republicans flipped four seats in the House. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas joins us now with more on the impact of these contests and what may lie ahead now. Tim? Christine and Maurice, the Democrats picked up a big win with Governor Hochul. They retained nine congressional districts, but with control of the House on the line, they wanted more than that. Never a doubt. From Long Island to the Hudson Valley, New York Republicans are celebrating congressional victories with hugs Very happy. and jokes about Congressman elect Mike Lawler's new constituent in Chappaqua. Well, as Hillary Clinton's new congressman, um, <laughs> New York Democrats, on the other hand, aren't laughing at the results. Republicans flipped four House seats in the state of New York. One key win Mike Lawler, who defeated the chairman of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, Sean Patrick Maloney, in the Hudson Valley. The right thing to do is to say the other guy won, to wish him well, and to pledge my support, and that's what I'm doing. New York Democrats seem to not have done as well as Democrats in other parts of the country. Gregory Waro is a political science professor at Columbia University. New York State in general has trended toward the Democrats over the past couple of decades. Uh, so it's interesting that they underperformed relative to other Democratic candidates throughout the, throughout the country. And now, New York Democrats face stark criticism from within their own party. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Assemblymember Zoran Mamdani even tweeted that the state's Democratic Party needs a new chairman. Ocasio-Cortez and Mamdani both say the party didn't do enough to fight for redistricting that would have been more favorable to Democrats. My initial read is that it that doesn't seem to really explain what what happened um, in, in New York. So some of those districts that might have uh, been more favorable toward Democrats under a different redistricting plan, doesn't seem like they changed all that much to lead these races to go Republican. And Waro tells me he still sees a path for the Democrats to control the House, but a narrow one. We did reach out to the, Dem to the Democratic Party chairman, Jay Jacobs, and we have not heard back. Maurice and Christine. All right, Tim, thank you.